call from the west coast of Trinity Bay in Newfoundland. I'm on my way to a place called Bull Arm. We only got one thing in Bull Arm these days, and it's not fish. It's jobs in the offshore oil industry. I gotta figure out how to get one. And behind me there is the Henry Goodridge, and that's a great big hunk in oil rig. Normally it sits 300 kilometers offshore on the Terra Nova oil field, but for the next 40 days, 40 nights, it's gonna be sitting here being refit. Where are you from? I'm from Dartmouth. And where are you from? I'm, I live in New York. People from New York and Dartmouth come to Newfoundland for jobs. I love this! This is very high-tech operation. Very high-tech. At the camera, into the bright lights. Hang on, people know it's me. Go. That does look like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm complaining yeah. about something. What have you got on your feet? Oh, uh, steel toe boots. Okay, that's good. You need steel toe boots. Yeah. Break, uh, good this radio. Copy that. Too dangerous to put in a basket. Right. Too dangerous to put us in a basket, is that what he said? That's the thing you're going in. Three people at a time. Put you in, strap you in, the crane operator get the signal to take you up, and they lay on the heli deck. And on the way back, same thing, just vice versa. Crane operator controls all the movement. There's a little bit of motion up there, eh? Uh, it can be in the wind. This is like the landing pods in Apollo 13, isn't it? Is there an eject switch? Thank you. Okay, I'm on the helideck of the Henry Goodridge, and down below, they all kept telling me, when you meet the OIM, he'll, he'll be the guy in charge, and this is the OIM. How are you doing? It's Craig O'Brien. How yeah, are you? Pleased to meet you. Craig, what's the OIM? Offshore installation manager. So you're the man in charge. Uh, I have overall responsibility for everything here on this operation. So yes. you're my boss. Uh, currently, at the moment, yes. Okay, boss. Uh, you gonna show me around? Sure. Let's go for a walk. Alrighty, let's go for a walk. Nice view. Nice view. Good. This would make a great condo. Yeah, it definitely would. Now, what's your job? Uh, I'm the medic on board. You're the medic? Yes. Oh, okay. So you're the one who has all the medication. Yes. Because anyone who has any medication... That's why I'm smiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got some insulin. We have all that. Hit low blood pressure. Anything you need. High blood pressure. Emergency. Viagra. No, we don't carry that over. Really. You don't? No. 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 But if it was... There's only one of me. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did you start out? What skills did you have? Uh, as a roustabout and work your way up. What's a roustabout? Roustabout is um, mostly a general, uh, general labor. Lots of people can tell you what to do. Yes. Do you pay roustabouts? Do we pay roustabouts? Yeah. Of course we do. Because in our business, we call them interns and we don't pay them. Oh, okay. But you're basically <laughs> roustabouts. And uh, you're a roughneck and you're a Derek man. Derek man, yeah. I like the idea of everyone having their occupations on their helmets. What would I put on my helmet? Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I think I'd be good at management. Do you think you would be? Well, you look like management material. <laughs> I'm not good at the lifting, I know that. So what do you do? I'm the driller. What's a driller do? Drill. I make the hole that... Uh, that the oil comes out of. That's right. This Thanks. is how you drill oil? Yes. I'm, I'm like drilling oil now. Yes. That's like pumping water. Yeah. This here is what we call a compensator. I position my pipe and I close my rams. What we call take a kick in my uh, BOPs. Come off bottom, break your pipe. My OIM, tool pushers and company men, and we... Uh... <laughs> I don't understand a word anyone has said since I've got on this bloody roof. So if I wanted to consider a career in the offshore, what do I have to have? The very basics. The very basics, you have the BST or the helicopter survival course. Dunk and roll. Dunk and roll? Dunk and roll. What's a dunk and roll? They'll put you in a simulated helicopter, and they'll take you and they'll dunk you in the pool, roll you over, and uh, hopefully uh, everything goes well and you can egress out of it. And now I'm standing here with Minister Ed Byrne, who's the Minister of Natural Resources. Right, Ed? You got it, Rick. How are you this morning? Good boy, Ed. Good. Why are we dressed like this, Ed? From what I understand, we're getting in this today. Yeah. We're going to be submerged, turned upside down, and then uh, it's up to me and you to get each other out. And if we get out, we get a job. We're qualified to get one. I ought to actually be able to say, I took a course. We can actually build our resume here today. Oh. How do you think of that? Building our resume. There we go. Okay, good. Hold on. Job in the offshore oil industry. 